Hello and welcome to another update video about Chainlink. Yeah, Chainlink doesn't really move a lot, therefore I didn't do an update yesterday because it didn't really move at all, but I know there's a lot of Chainlink fans out there and um, yeah, I just want to give you a quick update here um, before the holidays really, uh, but don't worry, if anything exciting happens, I will keep you updated anyway. Yeah, it continues to be the case that on this chart here, we are hovering above this support area. This support area is located between $5.80 and $5.50. Um, we have a very well-defined left shoulder, head and possible right shoulder emerging here. So I wouldn't rule out that we go a little bit higher. That is basically in line with my yellow resistance area here, which goes higher, which could also stretch out basically all the way up to 668. But in the current wave count, it would be limited to $6.35. Four thirty-five, um, because if it goes above that level, it would most likely not be a wave B anymore. At the moment, it looks a bit like it's a wave B, uh, wave four. Sorry, would be a wave four, but above the fifty percent retracement, it can't be a wave four anymore. But there are other options. For example, we can construct it in a way that we came down in an A wave. We're now moving up in a B wave, or we would. Sorry, uh, let me think. Yeah, we came down in A wave, we would move up now in a B wave and then come down in C. That's possible as well. Um, if it uh, is important, I'm gonna show you that count as well. At the moment, we can just go with what we've got now. All you need to know at this stage is that if we go above 634, that is currently not the primary expectation, but if we do, then my first view would be that it's just a corrective move to the upside, nothing bullish. So it would be part of this downtrend. And um, therefore, you know, any, ups any upside would rather put a more beautiful head and shoulders in place here. Neckline is obviously sort of this support area. There's not one price level, I believe. It's more the breakout through or breakdown through this support area that would lead to quite a strong sell-off. And again, this is sort of 550. If we use the head as a target and we measure that, then it will take us down to around, well, around 325. Yeah, we talked about that in the last video. Um, which is pretty much the target here for my wave three down there. And um, I don't see anything remotely bullish at the moment on this chart. Um, there is a bullish scenario, I talked about that as well. That bullish scenario is only on the chart because we've got five waves up off the low from the 21st of November, five up, and then we could have three down here in an ABC, but um, this has come down a bit too far to make it likely. We've pulled back to the absolute maximum. It would really need to rally now to put something um, in place here and to realize that bullish potential, which would be a breakout scenario. It would assume that we've got the low already in for Chainlink. Do we believe that? I personally don't. Yeah, also looking at what Bitcoin is most likely expected to do, which would be one more low as per my elite wave analysis as well. So uh, yeah, my focus is here on the downside. We need to keep in mind the yellow count is still possible. It could send us into the region around 960 first. That is an important resistance level up there as well. But until we really get above the significant swing high here, the head of that head and shoulders at around 780, I don't believe that anything bullish is going on. And I'm rather focused here on the downside. The count is that we are currently in a wave three of a move down, yeah? Uh, then there will be a four and five. And within this wave three, which is a five wave move, we have basically done a wave one, a wave two, and we're now in the wave three of three. There should be a four of three and then a wave five of three. And within that wave three of three, we've got five waves as well. Um, one, two, three, this might be a wave four and then a five. So all you need to understand now is that this is key resistance area in yellow between $6 basically and 635. We have, oops, we have come to that uh, support area here. We have touched it, we've been rejected. Yeah, even a lower high here at the moment and we could already now be on the way down in this fifth wave that would take us below 550. Um, however, as long as we are not really breaking below the last swing low, which is at 567, and then follow through to below $5, I don't, uh, we can't really say with confidence that this um, high has been in, yeah? Because in a way four, what you would normally expect with a high likelihood is um, to get to the 38.2% FIP level at least, or as an ideal target, don't get me wrong, the 23.6% FIP level is the minimum target for a wave four, but the ideal target is the 38.2% FIP level. In this case, $6.20, $6.21. We haven't reached that yet, but 
scenario is fulfilled, we touch the target and we could now be on our way down. First indication that this is happening would be a break below that small swing low there at 585, then 567 and then 550. So yeah, overall we're still looking for one more low here and targets are basically down there, ideally below 290 and 350. So from what I can currently see on the chart, I'm strongly in favor of further downside. Okay, that's my update about a link. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.